What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but iOS 11.3 was released yesterday, and I want to go over some of the new changes in this update. Let's get started. Okay, so this update was released to developers, so if you go ahead and unlock the device, you're going to see a new privacy page basically just showing all the new users to this update that Apple has basically upped the security. And something cool they did was you now have to type in your password every week when you plug in your iOS device into a computer. Even if it's a computer that's trusted, you still have to type in your device password. So it's good to see that Apple is trying to find ways to make your device more secure, even in areas that people don't really think about too much. Also in iOS 11.3, Apple removed the little blue bars that would show that your device is connected to AirPods, but this new change is only present on the iPhone 10. Now my specific model is on iOS 11.2 point something, and then on the iPhone 6S Plus, that change is not shown. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna talk about battery. So if you guys don't know, Apple basically would throttle the speed of your device to save battery life because battery life used to be really bad on iOS 11. So what they did was they'd slow down your device. So that way you could get better battery life and get through a full day on iOS 11. But many users were upset because their devices were being slowed down and even devices that people paid a lot of money for. So Apple actually fixed this in their most recent update. They basically made the devices much faster, but at the same time, it's going to cost you more battery. So this option isn't able to be toggled. It's basically low power mode, but Apple forced it in a way. So within the next few updates, we might see a toggle for that extra throttling. I don't know if that's 100% accurate because that is just a rumor at this time, but it is a fact that Apple did throttle the devices in order to save battery. So one of the changes you'll see in iOS 11.3 takes place in the settings app so you'll see that the privacy tab now is actually a blue icon whereas before it was a gray icon and I actually like this look better and also if you go ahead and then tap on location services on these devices you'll see that the color is also slightly different but you can also scroll down and you will see that there is now a settings icon for system services so the iphone 6s plus is on ios 11.3 just to clarify that for anyone who is wondering so overall night shift was kind of ignored in the ios 11.2 updates but it's good to see this little change that apple made it wasn't very significant but i think it was good to see that apple was basically recognizing that night mode is still a feature and by changing this one little thing they're basically showing that they still care about it and they're going to work on it and i just think now they're too busy with with other things that night mode is probably going to get worked on later down the line. So this change that you can see is that the Apple ink is in green when the device is in night mode, whereas on another device it would be purple. Now something that I would like is for the images to be fixed in Safari when viewing content in Safari on night mode because what happen is all the images will become inverted whereas in like the Apple Store app if you have night mode turned on all the images still stay the same and they don't look distorted in any way. Something I also like them to change is when night mode is turned on if they could just fix the little dots and make them match the color of the text for the apps so you can see that the bubbles are black whereas the text is white they just don't match I think it would look a lot better if they matched. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. As always, peace.